guys, it's Mitch today, and today I'll be bringing you the review on the Nerf Ultra 2. Um, <laughs> and all I really gotta say is it's a great gun, and let's just get into this, I guess. So, if you hold on the rave trigger, I don't know if you can hear that, but it'll make that noise. And that's the motor going, and inside, I don't know if you can see it, but there are these wheels here which spin. And when you pull the trigger, that tiny orange bit flicks down, hitting the end of the ultra bullets. And it goes pretty far, but the other problem is, is if you're running low on battery juice, then it's not going to go very far. But if you've got lots, it, it's pretty good. So I guess I'll just show you how far it goes. I'm just in my mum's office, so it, so it won't go full length, but here we go. I don't know if you could see that, but that was pretty fast, but... It hit the door and it just bounced back. Also, what's good about this gun is that it's got fast back reloading. Just like this, you can just drop them in nice and easy. But what is bad about this gun is it's not compatible with normal bullets. So, unfortunately, you have to use this these special ultra darts. But I'm totally okay with that because they're built... I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's little fins on it. Um, and it's got a ricochet tip. I'm not sure if you know what a ricochet tip is, but a ricochet tip is when you can, like, press the tip down like this. Um, I don't know what I was just putting this. Sorry. Also, what's bad, bad about it is that you can't hold any extra bullets in it unless you get like a special ultra dart holder to put on these rails and oh yeah yeah these rails are really good you can modify it with scopes and stuff um am i going too fast um but unfortunately what's bad about it is see that bullet sticky out there It'll refuse to shoot if a bullet's sticking out, which isn't very good. So this is the Nerf Ultra 2. And also what's not very good about the scope is you see how the barrel's right down there instead of like up there. If you put in a scope, it's not going to go where you aim at. And also, if you don't have enough battery in it, it's just going to... It's going to get jammed. But what is good about it is if it does get jammed or anything, we've got this little hatch here and you can open it to unjam it. Okay, I'll sh and I'll set up it, what it looks like to have a jam. See, I'm not sure if you can see that, but the tip of the bullet's in, so it's going to refuse to shoot because the little orange thing can't flick the dart. So what you can do is just open this up um, my finger's going to be in the way, but you can just push the dart back into place. So, about, so, is it good or is it bad? You know, I think it's really good. It goes really far, but it's not really that accurate. I was doing some target practice today, and I had a 25 point, a 50 point, and a 100 point, and I only got up to 1,075 and probably, like, 30 minutes or something, which I wasn't very impressed about. Um, I guess that's it for today, guys. I'm sorry. I d don't know why I'm talking so fast. Um, just enjoy your day. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more, for see more of my awesome videos, then just subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And you will be able to um and you'll get notifications when a new video is posted so i just hope you enjoyed this this is the gun the nerf ultra 2 bye